family. Look, look. Nobody knows how to cook anymore. Nobody knows how to kill anymore. Nobody knows how to kill dinner. My daddy was a very wise man before that tractor pull accident. My daddy taught me how to slaughter a pig. That's very useful information. Oh, sure, I was a little nervous at first, but he put me in a room with a fork and a fat sow and told me he'd be back in an hour for some fat back and hog gels. As a mother, I'm proud to say I throttled the life out of that little piggy. I did it for my family, and I'll do it again. Feeding the family is my job as a mother. Daddy earns money and goes away with the secretary, and Mommy provides dinner and keeps a brave face on things, even though her heart is breaking. Where are my pills? Barry, you look like you've got something to say. I agree. Statistics show that families that spend time together naked are the best kinds of families. You see, social class distinctions disappear when everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter, because we're all naked. Designer clothes? Try designer nudism. My body was made by the best designer around. Mother Nature. That's why we're lobbying to build a naked casino in Vice City, so old people can gamble naked and poor people can lose hope in the buff. It is written, chapter 23, verse 5 of my book, he that gambles his money away is a fool, but he who believes in me will go to spend eternity in space with other affluent, well-to-do people. It's that simple. Do what I say and you won't have to think for yourself. Oh, but I think it is, Pastor. We look around. Nudie clubs, discos, drinking. Do people want to be moral? Can you legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purged their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries, and without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what's good and what's evil. You need someone to tell you so. Single moms have obese kids, it's a fact. While rich people have a lot of guilt, unnecessarily, in my opinion. I agree. I don't think these people understand just how hard it is to potty train. You have to give a treat when Precious makes it poopy. My kids are big boned and they eat prunes every day. But that's what's wrong with this country. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit Daddy next time he comes home late, smelling of cheap perfume. Okay. It's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. We'll be right back. You're listening to VCPR. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying pressing issues, but as is normal, you can't listen to an hour's worth of programming on this station without us begging for money. It's the Buy Daily Begathon here on VCPR, where we hold your favorite shows hostage until you pony up some cash. You know what's so great about VCPR? It's like a shining torch of cultural enlightenment for Vice City. In these times of darkness, when the hordes are so uneducated they can barely understand multisyllabic phrases like, clean my shoes better marissa or i'll report you to the irs or dialectical materialism isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio that's right michelle with the way things are going under reagan at any moment the unwashed huns from the midwest could descend upon vice city and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming that is a frightening thought but like many things in life you can throw money at something and feel better about yourself vcpr is your public radio station but you have to open your wallet. That's right. If you pledge at the $1,000 level, you'll get tickets for In the Future There Will Be Robots at the Vice City Art Center. People who see that show say it's difficult to put into English. That must mean it's spectacular. Yes, but if you don't give money to VCPR, we could be thrown back to the Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love because they have integrity, just like me. 
We're back with pressing issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones so you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as <coughs> seen in the Gay of Ablascos in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Recently, my city considered passing a public curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think. If you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that moral? I'm not sure. Let's press the issue. Children should be at home with their parents naked. A curfew makes sense. You know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked, even you. Why do we have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please! Because nobody is interested in seeing your business. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. Look at me! I'm jumping up and down! Oh my goodness, get back behind the divider, please, I'm married! What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jack, give me a hug, I won't hurt you. And by the sound of things, your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, we've worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pants. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, n now, sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another, to treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a Cold War, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to pass the Richard Salvation Statue you and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now 